Here we are at hole one for Indian Creek Disc Golf Course. Looks like there's two pin positions for this one. The first pin position is at 350 and the second pin position is at 420. Looking at the tees, they are cement tees um, raised out of the ground so just be a little careful on your pivot off of the end. And a look down the fairway shows a basket here kind of tucked to the left here we are with a look at hole number one green at Indian Creek a um, little trouble back behind and to the left or if you were to go long there's a creek way back here that you can get into um, if your highs are out really really big but it would be it. here's a look at holes two T sign look like again two pin positions Pin A, 340 feet. Pin B, 435. And again, it looks like the creek will be on the left. Speaking of the creek, here's a look at what you could get into from hole one. It's a really tough shot. Maybe if we step over here, we can look back. Well, we can't really see one's basket over there, but it's behind those three trees. So you probably have a good 60 or 70 feet before you start flirting with the creek. But it does look like a creek that uh, has a little bit of flow to it. So be careful. We'll definitely be careful in this next hole. Looking at the T, cement T pads. This one's much more flush than the previous. And if we look down, there is the short pin position sitting at the end with rough on the left and right. Here we are at hole two with a look back at the T box. And then if we pan around, you can see the basket nestled between these two trees. But be aware, just back and left of the basket is Indian Creek. So it looks like we have maybe 15 to 20 before this drop off and then another tier and then it's water. Here we are at hole three, Indian Creek, two pin placements. First pin placement's 300 feet straight. Looks like pin B is 330 feet straight with a slight hyzer at the end. T pad, again, this one's fairly flush with the ground, a little bit of step off at the end. And here we can see the basket at the end of the fairway. Here we are at three's basket. As you can see, not too far behind it, some rough, rough off to the right. A little bit of opening, it looks like probably the longer pin position somewhere right down there. But if you get off of the fairway on this hole, it is certainly thick. And a look back at the tee pad. Here we are at four T sign. Looks like again, two pin placements. Pin A, 300 feet. Pin B, 360 feet. Concrete tee pads. Um, looks like this one's a little raised. So again, just be careful coming off of the end of the pad. And a look down the fairway. We can see the basket right there at the end. Here we are at Forest Green, nestled between a couple of trees. Do be aware though, if you throw a backhand and you hyzer, you could get into the road left. Here we are with a look at hole five. Looks like there's three pin positions, 345, 370, and 420. Concrete T pad, again a little raised. Don't know if they'll be bringing in any dirt for the championships, but just be aware it is a raised T pad, but it looks like it's plenty long. And a look down the fairway shows a basket nestled into the left. Looks like maybe some type of water hazard short and maybe to the left of the basket as well. Here's a look at hole five's green. As you can see, there's kind of a sharp slope behind the basket. So any righty hyzers that come in will probably skip away leaving a long uphill putt. Little 
bit of a slant all the way down to the basket. Here we are at hole six, 330 feet. Looks like only one pin position. Basket's in the trees. Nice, long, flat, wide cement tee pad. And if we walk just to the right here, we can kind of see the basket and the flag in there. Here we are with a look at Six's basket. Sits on a little bit of rise with a sloping green falling off behind it. No real danger, opens up nice here at around the 300 mark all the way into the basket. Hole 7's T sign, 354 feet, cement T pad. Looks like we're throwing over this line of brush to a basket that's out by the road. Can't really see it from here, but as you can see from the sign, the road is very close to being OB behind it. Here we are with a look at a whole sevens green. As you can see, the bike trail is about 30 to 35 feet behind it. Pretty open other than that. And I look back up the hill toward the tee pad. Hole H tee sign, one pin placement, 315 feet. Sidewalk off and to the left. Um, concrete tee pad, looks like this one has settled a little bit and broke, but Shouldn't be a major problem. And I look down the fairway to where I believe is the opening for where the basket sits. I look in at hole H green. But as you can see, lots of shul short and left, as well as long and left. So you really have to peer that opening to get your chance at birdie. So here's a look at hole nine. Short pin position, 410, long 610. Looks like the basket is probably up the hill. Let's see if we can move over here to the side, wouldn't see it. And somewhere to the left of those big trees right there. So we'll throw and get up there and see. Hole nine's green. Um, nothing really too challenging about the green. This is in the long position, which was around 610 feet from the T, which as you can see, is down there. Here we are at hole T's T sign. Par four, 500 feet with the basket just beyond the tree line. Cement T. And the basket should be somewhere beyond those trees. Can't really. Here we are with a look at hole number 10's basket. As you can see, it's up on this mound of dirt, which can make for a very slippery green. And the T sign is over the hill. It says it's about 500 feet. Here we are at hole 11. It's like kind of a sharp right turn. Couple pin positions, pin A 350, pin B 510, with some out of bounds off to the left and to the right. So there's probably going to be rope or paint on this hole. Here's a look down the fairway at the basket, sits all the way at the end. Again, as the green gets narrow, there's OB both to the left and to the right. Here we are at hole 11's green, and as you can see, there's the fence along the left side of the fairway and fence behind and looks like there's some flags showing here what might be painted at the pro championships both back there to help mark the OB and to the right side and then there's the fence here that plays along the right if I step out you can kind of see this fence here so a very very narrow fairway as you get down here close to the basket. Here's a look at hole 12 T sign, two pin placements. Pin A, 500 feet. Pin four, 720 feet. Look like, looks like there's a lot of out of bounds outside of these fence lines. Just need to be careful of. Here's a look back at 12 T, uh, T sign, or T box. And as we come around, we can see 
basket basket placement right down there at the end, right in the head of that big oak tree, and in between these two hedge rows. Here we are with a look through the opening to hole 12 nestled under this nice tree. Here's the short tee placement, and if we look down and to the right, there's the long tee placement for hole 12. Hole 13's tee sign looks like there's three placements, 355, 395, and a par 4, 500 foot. In the tree line with some OB in a small patch off to the left, I'm guessing that's that right there, with the baskets falling into those trees in there. Again, a nice cement tee pad. A little raised, so just be aware of those. Make sure you don't go off at the end. Here we are with a look at 13's basket placement, kind of tucked off into the right. As you can see, lots of OB here to the left. And a look back at the tee pad. And of course, lots of trouble and shul that you could get into the right. And again, there's the tee placement. Here we are at 13's green. Looks like one of the more treacherous holes on the course with all of the OB on the left and Shul on the right and then a very, very fast green as you can see behind the basket. A look at 14's T. Two pin placements, 370 off to the right and 420 long and left. We step over to the T box. We can look down, it's a pretty tight fairway. I'm not sure right now what pin position the basket is in. As you can see, it does open up at the end. There it is, looks like the basket's long and left at the 420. A look at 14 to green, kind of surrounded by shul about 25 away. And a look back up the fairway. Here we are at hole 15. I don't see a T sign for this hole, but it's just a short hyzer around this bend. Looks like there were some fishermen on this hole. We'll get up there and we'll see at the green. Um, probably 260 to maybe 280. Here we are at hole 15 again. Got the fisherman right there. Oh, looks like pulling one up with a mando, I'm not sure what that's for, off here saying we need to pass to the left. Nice. Here we had hole 16's tee pad, looks like there's one pin placement, 260 feet away. Concrete tees, this one's fairly flush with the ground. And if we step over here far enough, we can see the basket tucked into the trees. There's a look back at the tee box. Again, down the fairway with hole 16 basket sitting on a little ridge or a saddle, falling off both to the right and to the left. Here we are at 17's tee. Looks like there's two pin positions. A short on a raised um, green and a long and left into the trees. Concrete tee pads just with all the other tees. And if we look down, it looks like it's in the short on this raised um, basket position. Here we are with a look at 17th basket. Kind of an interesting concept with some cross timbers and steps to get up to the basket. Um, as you can see, it is a good bit higher than your normal basket. Apparently has a little bit of a lean, but they may get that fixed before the championships. A look at 18's tee. Short pin position, 630, just short of the water with a long pin position at 735, just on the other side of the water. Looks like there's two tees on this one. Nice concrete tee pad. And let's see, there's a little construction going on down there. I think if I walk out just far enough, you can see the basket. So there is the basket for the whole 18.